Let's combine this image of a desert with this image of a city skyline in Photoshop. And by the way, you can find the links to all the images I'm going to use right in the description. So let's open one of them in Photoshop and using the crop tool, go ahead and expand the canvas like I did and then press enter to confirm. Now drag the second image and drop it on the canvas and then adjust its position and scale. Now, first of all, it's always a good idea to match the colors of these two images before doing anything else. You can do that manually or you can follow my tutorial on how to use the harmonization neural filter. With the layer still selected, go to filter neural filters activate harmonization select the background set the output to whatever you want and then click ok great now to combine these two images you need to create a selection between them with a little bit of overlap you can use the rectangular marquee tool to quickly create a rectangular selection or use any selection tool to create a custom selection. Keep in mind that everything inside the selection will be replaced. So if you want to avoid making changes to specific areas, then make sure you keep them outside the selection. I'm gonna try to combine the water with the desert. So I'll start my selection right here and move it into the desert. Next, make sure the top layer is activated right here in the layers panel. I previously tried to generate a layer myself, so let's ignore that layer. And then in this contextual taskbar, which you can activate by going to window contextual taskbar click generative fill and let's try it without any prompt for now just click generate wait for it to process and there you go you should get three options right here in the properties panel and you can generate more options if you want. Wow, these look great. If you want to learn more about generative fill in Photoshop, then make sure you check out my video about generative fill in Photoshop. It's called Generative Fill Photoshop. So let's try it again, but this time I want the desert to extend all the way into the city. So I will start my selection from the city itself, including the water and a little bit of the desert. Generate and done. Again, you can choose between three options. And remember, you can always add a specific prompt to help Photoshop combine the images. So you can write desert or trees or whatever. Here are some more examples I tried. Here's the first image, the second image, this is the selection I created, and this is the result. And you can combine as many images as you want. Here are three images. This is the first one, the second image, and the third one. And I combined the first two, then I combined them with the third image and then generated the top part. So be creative or don't, totally up to you.